Okay, here's the 1997 Rialta. This is a outdoor shower. This is a trunk space back here. You've got a tow package. This is where the liquid propane is. You can see that's about three quarter, a little, about five eighths full. And you've got two speakers on the outside that need to be fixed. Here's the inside. We'll go over to the bed. Lots of uh, cupboards and storage in here. This is a little closet in here. Storage up top. There's another bigger cabinet thermostat. And then this bed flips up and you've got more storage underneath. And then back here is where you access your fuel lines. And this is where the shower pulls out. So there's been a protective carpet on top of the carpet just one more layer of protection this pulls up and out and then that's your shower pan oh, sorry for the bad filming this whole unit will slide out and that's where your shower pan will be with your toilet and then your showers up there this flips down into a sink. Close that. Push this back in. And putting that back. Okay, so then we move over to the kitchen. You've got microwave up top, and then the ceiling's a little higher. I'm about 6'2", and I can stand in here. And so you're able to cook, and you don't have to squat over the kitchen. There's the stove, runs on the propane outside. There's the sink, a little cutting board on top. And then this fridge runs on your shore power battery or it'll run on the propane, which is pretty cool. Another cabinet. Then you've got your auxiliary battery underneath here. And then this chair, I'll back up so we can see the whole side of this. Alrighty, now, some of the damage, there was a water damage at one point on this cabinet. Um, the roof's since been repaired, but this cabinet is still, you know, damaged from a little leak at one point. Um, so this chair will swivel around. It moves back and forth. Um, you can slide it and spin it. This is a table that pulls out. This table flips out and then you can 180 this chair so then you've got you know uh, two chairs and a table go ahead and shut that 
and then um, the seats in the front here. Uh, before I move into the front, this is a cool system. The AC cab works really well. And what they've done is they've made it so that the intake from the AC up in the cab or the heat will redistribute and it'll blow back through these running off just the, the cab AC. Um, however, this AC unit and heating unit does work. It just needs to be plugged in because that generator, I can get it started, but it just doesn't stay going. Um, it'll die. So, um, anyways, they've made a cool design here to redistribute the air from the cab. And then up front, uh, you'll notice that the seats are getting worn on both sides. So this one's a little bit in uh, worse condition than the other, so the seat covers are there. Um, and then up front, we got our 82,000. And then, uh, yeah, everything on the inside. Works great. There is some damage. These there's a little bit of cracks from this point. I don't know how that happened. I just purchased it like that. Um, and then that's how you control that overhead AC. Go ahead and uh, fire this up. Crap under the hood. Ugh. Just purring. Good old VW engine. As you can see, the tires are in great shape too. All right, uh, sorry, I forgot to include the, uh, this is where the generator is on this side. And it's got, you know, 130 hours on it. I just, it fires up, it just doesn't stay running. And then this is, your wastewater and sewage 